Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Ebony with Genghis. And today we're going to discuss rogue players and what to do with them. So I'm uh, highlighted right here on uh, my server's most famous rogue player, I guess. We came from 136 and this is Goku. And he's, he's not rogue right now. Uh, on 136, he was rogue a lot of the times. And there's another famous guy on this uh, server. I don't know much about his story, so I can't speak about it. All I can talk about is in general. So this guy is 4.1 billion. He is a massive rogue. He's no longer rogue. He is now part of an alliance. And I will just tell you my experience dealing with rogue players. And my experience basically comes from Goku. Um, so I'm on friendly terms with Goku. I have never had issues with him. I've been in alliance with alliances with him uh, three times now I believe maybe four and he's always been a great teammate rallying hard etc but he has uh, opinions on how the server should be run so at times he went rogue because uh, of throne rotation arguing about that he felt that uh, he was uh, unjustly withheld from throne rotation and same with some teammates and he will fight uh, basically to the death for his teammates that he believe in who are doing that sort of thing for him as well. So you have to say that in some ways that's an honorable thing, right? That's a good teammate. But when he's rogue and you're not his teammate, obviously you are upset with him. Now, there's different things you can do when someone is rogue on your alliance, on your server. So... Generally, for those who don't know, a rogue player is someone who breaks any server rule they want. They may go into server war. If you look at our server war right here, our most recent one, there was a rogue alliance. And if you look at this, look at this, minus 865 million points at the, at the top right here. And this guy right here, minus 200. And then if you try to find them and you go into the actual points, Jax is almost 400 million, so he's almost 500 million negative. And then if you look at Virus, Virus is... Uh... Where is he? Did I miss him? He's He should be somewhere here. He went 200 negative and he is right here. 390, that's it, he got 4 million points for 200 negative. But that is on purpose, right? That is what rogue players do. That's a strategy. Lose SVS for the server. Make them negotiate with you. Um, now, rogue players will also port and steal your bosses. So they'll see your lines and they'll just go port and take it and your whole alliance and everybody's alt alliances misses out on the resources and it's tiring. They will also tile you and kill your farmers. And really, to be honest, here's the things you can do to combat a rogue agent. So one, you can set up little traps, right? You can drop a bubble and reinforce it and hope they hit it blind and hurt them. You can also send out farmers and watch that spot and hope they hit it and try and hit them while they're hitting it. Now, a good strategy would be, I'm just going to go to a random spot here. So find their sub city and hit that while they're tiling you because this is something they won't see coming and they can't uh, bubble they can't recall their march they can't do anything this is always going to be a good strategy to watch their sub cities that's a way to get them uh another strategy is while they're stealing bosses from you you can use speed ups from your alts right don't use them from your main account. Use them from alternate cities or smaller players who don't do Battlefield. You, remember, you are an alliance of 70, 80, 90, 100 people versus a handful of people. Spread out your speeds. Don't let everybody carry that weight to go after them. Now, other things you can do, but they can do these to you as well, right? So they can, in server versus server, they can attack you through a subsidy like this. But you don't want that to happen to you either. 
So it's, it's a dangerous game. Whoever does it first, just be aware. The next person's going to do it to you. So the main thing you can really do with a rogue agent is talk to them. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at this game, the game is designed that small players have an opportunity to fight back. So if there's a really big alliance who is dictating terms on the server and it's unfavorable, they're not sharing throne with other alliances, what you could do is you can go rogue. But it's, it's very hard, right? Because the, the way to combat a rogue player is just to rally and don't farm so they can't tile you. And then they run out of ports and speeds trying to take all your bosses. And eventually over time, you get the bosses and they don't. But that is all lost growth to everybody. So one thing that matters when you're thinking about rogue agents is whoever cares less has all the power. So if you have a rogue agent who really doesn't care about growth at all and all they want to do is limit other players' growth, it's very, very difficult to combat that. You just have to accept that, hey, we're going to grow at about 70% of the speed that we were before. Now, the best way to deal with rogue agents is to communicate with them. Be friendly with them, ask them what they want, etc. Now, one strategy I have heard of in the past is you as a small, let's say you are not the main alliance they have an issue with, but the rogue alliance or player has no recourse, no option except to tile, attack the entire server to bring the rest of the server to their knees to make them negotiate for their terms. One thing you can do if you're not the main person they're angry with and you are only collateral damage, you could talk to them privately. Maybe offer them some things. Maybe there's something they need. Maybe they need friendship. Maybe they need nice messages. Maybe they need some of those messages to include teleports or resources, right? Maybe you can have an alternate city, drop a bubble and allow them to attack it and get resources once in a while. Now. Keep in mind, these are all things that other people are going to be upset at you for. But this is a war game. And there's a lot of strategies in a war game. So you could do some clandestine war strategies. Some things that some people say are shady. Right? But they can call you shady all they want. But at the end of the day, you might be a better player than them, right? And you just had a long-term plan. And you outgrew them. And now, who really cares at all what they think about you? But these are things that will be frowned upon, right? By the rest of the server. But some of the server, the really big players, will understand what you're doing. And they may tell you, you know what? We get what you're doing, just don't get caught for it. So these are different things that you can think about. So basically, the bottom line is communicate with your rogue players. They are part of your server and you just have to deal with it. Unless they're quitting, then all of you have to learn how to get along or all of your growth is going to be slowed. But... There's not much you can do against a rogue player who really doesn't care. They're just going to attack you and tile you and slow your growth. So find out exactly what they want from you and negotiate. Eventually, you're going to come to an agreement. So why not come to a happy agreement immediately? This is Genghis, Server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.